Imagine walking across a quiet patch of earth, nothing but dust, rocks, and maybe a few scraggly trees. Now, imagine that beneath your feet lies a fortune, not gold, not silver, but diamonds. Yes, the hardest, most coveted gemstones on earth. And they're not hidden in treasure chests. They're hidden in nature, camouflaged by signs that only the trained eye can recognize. Today on EGS Pro, we reveal the five natural signs that tell you you're standing on diamond-rich ground. And believe me, once you learn these, you'll never walk over the earth the same way again. So buckle up, grab your mental geology kit, and get ready to uncover the secrets of diamond hunting with no fancy equipment, just facts, eyes, and a bit of wild intuition. Let's dive in. Sign 1. Volcanic Roots Kimberlite Pipes Our first clue to finding diamond-rich ground lies deep underground, or rather, what used to be underground. Enter the volcanic eruption, Earth's wild tantrum that once brought diamonds from the depths of the mantle all the way to the surface. Diamonds form about 90 to 120 miles below the surface, under extreme pressure and heat, conditions only found in the Earth's upper mantle, but they don't stay there forever. That's where kimberlite pipes come in. These are vertical, carrot-shaped structures formed by ancient, gas-charged volcanic eruptions that blasted diamond-bearing rocks up to the surface. Now, over time, those pipes erode, but traces remain. And the most obvious sign? Weathered, blue-to-green colored rocks, known as kimberlite, scattered on the surface or forming outcrops. They're often crumbly with a clay-like texture and sometimes studded with small garnets or ilmenite crystals, minerals that travel with diamonds. If you find soft, grayish-blue rocks on a remote, elevated patch of land, don't just walk away. You might be standing on the roots of a diamond volcano. But wait, we're not done yet. Not all kimberlites contain diamonds. That's where the next signs come in. Sign 2 indicator minerals now we step into the subtle world of indicator minerals those tiny colorful clues that act like breadcrumbs leading us to diamonds when volcanic eruptions pull diamonds to the surface they bring along a gang of mineral companions and these companions my friend are easier to find than the diamonds themselves let's meet a few key members garnet not your jewelry store garnet. We're talking about G9 and G10 pyrope garnets, deep red to purplish gems with a chemical signature linked directly to diamond-bearing kimberlite. Chromite, dark and metallic, this heavy mineral often survives erosion and collects in stream beds. Ilmenite, a black metallic mineral that looks like nothing special until you test it. Diopside, bright green and glassy, a true telltale that diamonds might be near. Magnesian olivine, a green granular crystal found in ultramafic rocks. These minerals are found downstream, in placer deposits, or right on the weathered surface of a kimberlite field. But here's the kicker. Many diamond explorers don't look for diamonds. They look for these minerals because where they go, diamonds may follow. If you found any of these in creek beds or loose soils, don't brush them off. Take a closer look, because the earth is whispering a secret. We go deeper, literally, because not all signs lie on the surface. Some are hidden in landforms, plant patterns, and ancient geology. Sign 3. Unusual plant growth. Diamonds in the green. Now let's talk about a clue so subtle, so natural. Most people never notice it. Plants, yes, plants. Because the same mineral-rich ground that hides diamonds beneath the surface also affects what grows on it. Enter a botanical legend. 
the Pandanus candelabrum, also called the diamond plant. This rare shrub thrives almost exclusively on kimberlite soils, the same ultramafic, magnesium-rich earth that diamonds emerge from. This plant has been found growing only where diamond-bearing rocks lie beneath, especially in places like Liberia and parts of Africa. Now, while this species might not grow in your region, the lesson here is simple. Abnormal plant growth patterns equal mineral changes underground. In diamond-rich zones, you might see stunted vegetation due to high magnesium or iron content, patchy plant zones that form oddly circular or oval patterns, specific moss or lichen colonies that seem out of place for the climate, in some areas, kimberlite pipes produce nutrient imbalances that support certain types of weeds while discouraging others. That's a geological fingerprint. So next time you're hiking through the backcountry or exploring forgotten fields, take a moment to observe the plants. Nature speaks, and when it comes to diamonds, it whispers through the leaves. Sign 4 Ancient riverbeds and streamlines diamonds are old, really old. We're talking billions of years. So are the rivers that once carved paths through ancient landscapes. Over time, diamonds from eroded kimberlite pipes are transported by water, moving slowly downstream, embedding in gravel beds and riverbanks. But here's the twist. Many of those rivers are no longer active. They've dried up, shifted or been buried by sediments. These are called paleo channels, ancient riverbeds lost to time, but rich in heavy minerals. So how do you find them? Satellite maps and topography tools reveal gentle curves and depressions in terrain. In the field, look for strange bands of gravel or differently colored soils cutting across a slope. If you find rounded pebbles and smooth quartz in dry valleys far from today's rivers, you've probably found an old river path. And here's the golden rule. Heavy minerals like diamonds settle in traps, behind large boulders, inside bedrock cracks, or in dense gravel pockets at the base of the stream channel. So don't just look at where the river is. Ask where it used to be because some of the richest diamond finds in the world weren't uncovered in pipes, but in ancient riverbeds forgotten by time. Sign 5. Magnetic Anomalies and Unusual Rock Patterns Now we take a step into the invisible, the realm of magnetism. Kimberlite pipes often contain minerals like magnetite or ilmenite, elements with slightly magnetic properties. When explorers survey these areas, they look for magnetic anomalies, irregularities in the Earth's magnetic field caused by these hidden rock structures. But here's the kicker. You don't need fancy instruments to see the clues. Watch for circular depressions or domes in the landscape, possible signs of buried pipes, unusual rock textures, such as coarse-grained peridotite or serpentinized rocks. Heavy, dark stones that seem to attract magnets or feel heavier than usual. If you're hiking in an area and notice oddly aligned rocks, strange soil colors, or formations that don't match the surrounding geology, it's time to stop and look closer. Many successful diamond discoveries started with nothing more than a curious mind and a keen eye. So there you have it. Five subtle, powerful signs that nature gives us when she's hiding diamonds beneath our feet. 1. Kimberlite Pipes, the ancient volcanic roots of diamonds too. Indicator Minerals, colorful companions that lead the way. 3. Unusual Plant Growth, the Earth's quiet signal through greenery 4. Ancient Riverbeds, the ghost paths where diamonds traveled 5. Magnetic and Geologic Anomalies When rocks misbehave, pay attention. These signs don't require a metal detector 
a lab or a geologist degree, just awareness, curiosity, and the passion to read the land like a storybook. Remember, diamonds don't shout, they whisper. So next time you're walking through the wild, pause, look down, observe, because you might already be standing on diamond-rich ground. If you found this guide insightful, educational, or inspiring, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the community at EG's Pro. We bring nature secrets to light, one sparkling story at a time.